We've been doing some weeding this morning and have a wheelbarrow full of freshly pulled weeds and realize that this might be a great conversation to have with folks that may also have chickens in a given space in their property. Do you give them weeds from the garden or not? I'd like to talk about after five years of experience with our chickens, what we do and give you some food for thought that you may consider. Those of you that have watched the channel for a while already know the answer on this. Of course, we provide our chickens with the full spectrum of any and all weeds that we pull from the garden. In an ideal world, our chickens would be able to roam freely in as wide a space as possible. The reality is we're on a very busy road. We've got very limited space overall and very complex gardens. So a static fenced in area for our chickens keeps them safe and overall is, is what works for our design. By offering a wide spectrum of greens from the garden, along with sprouted grains, along with compost that we bring in, it gives them the free choice to pick through these and say yes to some of the greens, no to others, and start the process of building soil. And let me show you what I mean by that. This whole wheelbarrow of weeds or prunings or plants has a very diverse mix. And so for example, this first bucket I dump out, I can see some plantain, I can see some docks, some sheep sorrel, lettuce, so, or uh, lettuce, some grasses. There's probably some lettuce and kale, some wild lettuce in there. Lots of things that we know that the chickens would like. Mixed within there, there is a little bit of buttercup. There is a little bit of belladonna. Plants that could be considered known toxins to chickens. When there's a little bit of plant material in there that's questionable, or there are plants that we don't know if the chickens would thrive on or have issues with, we're still comfortable with allowing them to go into this system. Chickens as beings have been on the face of the earth for an incredibly long time. They don't need a curated pathway of exactly what's available to them. If they have free choice, they can choose what's healthy and what's not, just like we can. Hopefully we make good decisions as people. That said, if we were to be just pruning tomato plants for a day, or just pulling up poke root, or plants that are not really great for chickens, those go to another composting system. But the average diffuse weeds, plants from the garden, old stems, all of it goes out to the chickens. They pick through what they know they want. They work through the soil, the worms, the soil life on the root systems. And what they don't explicitly want to eat will slowly get turned down through the system and it'll come back to them in the form of earthworms and pill bugs or fungi later on. In over five years of raising chickens this way, with at least 60 chickens for most of those years, we've never had a distinct issue associated with providing them this wide range of greens. They seem happy, healthy, productive, and we really enjoy being able to provide them this diverse experience. Now, of course, they love kale more than anything, chard. But today they get the all-you-can-eat free choice buffet of greens from this morning's work. Our hope with this video is that for those folks who have chickens in a smaller space that have been on the fence of whether or not they should offer up to their chickens the plants they pull from their garden, give it some deeper thought. And from our personal experience, it's been wonderful, it's worked well. Use your discretion, but maybe don't be scared of the idea of adding in a nice broad spectrum of weeds from the garden for your chickens to work through. Share your thoughts. Have you had positive experience? Maybe there's some negative experiences. Let's have some dialogue around it. And hopefully we can all continue to raise our chickens in very healthy and happy ways. Thanks for watching.